Good morning slash afternoon slash evening everybody. Today we're doing a food haul video. Forgive me if it's windy and the microphone's picking it up. Kind of hard to avoid I'm afraid and there's cars everywhere. I'll come off the main road so hopefully that should help. The hood's come up, it's that kind of day and my glasses are already covered in rain. I feel like every video I film my eyes are always obscured by something on my glasses or the light reflecting off them. Anyway, I'm sorry that last week our videos were a bit few and far between. I just, well, me and Maddie, mainly me, were feeling a bit burned out because the week before we'd done eight videos in five days between us. I think the, f the last video I uploaded was just me mainly sat in bed chatting and I was thinking, well, this is a bit boring. I wasn't feeling very inspired. So took a few days off to consider a better routine and consider some different ideas for videos. So I'm feeling much better about that now. You'll be pleased to hear. A few of you had been asking in the comments more about the food we eat and how we budget and how we plan meals and stuff. So, so many cars. So I thought I'd just take you along today while I'm out doing the shopping. Uh, I'll probably just film a bit in the shop and then we'll go through it all back in the house because the weather is getting worse. Okay, turns out I missed the turning for the shop I'm going to. I've only been once, it's not my fault. I'm putting you away now. Camera got dangerously wet out there, that's bad. I'm not even sure how much I'm gonna be able to get in here. Um, they didn't have any bananas and I think we cleared them out of tofu last week and he hasn't managed to replace it yet. So. <laughs> Um, the onions were quite expensive, but I will persevere and get as much as I can. If I had unlimited money, this is what my basement would look like. Everything. Okay, so I only got a few bits in there. Which is a shame. He was out of stock of a few things we needed, unfortunately. But never mind. The new plan is to go there regularly before we go elsewhere, like Co-op or Tesco. Um, and he's really nice in there. He's really friendly. I think his name's Nash. Not 100% sure where he's from. I hope this isn't too noisy. I checked. Before I came out, I thought ahead and I checked that I had full battery on this camera. And now, after a few minutes of filming, it's, it's flashing at me telling me I have no battery left. So let's hope we can squeeze it through until after Tesco, eh? right you got the stuff yesterday you're not supposed to tell them that <laughs> well it's kind of obvious because you can see oh, that yeah, you've eaten true. this bread it, i had that for lunch it got dark yeah it got yeah. dark and i wanted to show you clearly what we got yesterday this is basically what we've got for the week we already had quite a lot of food in the fridge but typically you don't buy like everything that you need you just top up well i was thinking about it and because we, we kind of decided on what budget we were going to have yeah um, and we didn't get a lot of things like normally we'd buy noodles and rice and stuff. We've got those but, in the cupboard. Yeah, but it's not a huge expenditure. No. And also we bought, as you'll see later, down here. Some expensive things. We've got a lot of, uh, yes, so, things we wouldn't normally get, for example. So if you're new to our channel, we are both vegan and we also have another channel, my, my channel, <laughs> um, where I do recipe videos. So a lot of these ingredients I buy every week for the recipe videos. Yeah behind the scenes yeah yeah let's get into it what we got and we we oh yeah we we shop at our local health food shop and we've made like a news resolution to try and do that more often and we go there first mm. and um then afterwards we go to tesco or wherever to get the other bits that they don't have and i really encourage you to try that because not only are you supporting a local business but also you can find things um without as much plastic and we're still working on the plastic thing i know that things have plastic mm. but um yeah, we'll get there. We're trying our hardest for now. We're doing better. Yeah, we're I doing think. loads better. Yeah. And we compost our food too, so. Yeah. Anyway, we're rambling. Yeah. Let's get into what we've got. So we've got lots of fresh stuff. We've got some mushrooms. And I always buy mushrooms no matter what because they go so well in stir fries and curries. 
and they're just yeah. a great thing to have if you're vegan or vegetarian. In Tesco, they would always wrap it up in plastic. Yeah, and stuff. you can get, yeah. you can actually get mushrooms loose, and we don't have them here, but we have some produce bags. Um, I should go get them. Right here. Look, that's not it. Oh yeah. Go get one. I have one. Where's that? Oh yeah. Sit down. <laughs> So we have some produce bags, I'll link them down below, and this comes in so handy even if you're shopping at Tesco because they always have loose onions, loose mushrooms, yeah. etc. So get some of these. The weird we thing Tesco started doing is they give you these paper bags to put veg in. But they have plastic on them. But they have a plastic film on it. So Crazy. You, I don't know. Yeah, so we've got mushrooms, we've got onions, yeah. we've got Maybe I'll, uh, I'll put the price and stuff from on the screen. Okay. Because I said that I thought it would be quite fun to see how much stuff costs. Yeah. And so what our budget is. Yeah. These things are all things we always buy. We always buy mushrooms, we always buy onions, we've got red and brown. We always get broccoli. Broccoli is my favourite vegetable. How big these are. How do you feel about broccoli, Alex? Uh, it's okay. You have it's to cook okay. it right. Sometimes, it. sometimes it can be horrible. I'm obsessed with broccoli. Who is obsessed with broccoli? Let you, me know. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you had broccoli or mushrooms at school, especially in the UK, like it, it would just be cooked really horribly. It'd be overcooked. It would be. Yeah. Like, no, you know. I love them. We've got tomatoes. We always get tomatoes. I'm trying to buy them like this because normally cherry tomatoes are in a packing. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get them like this now. Red peppers because. I hate green peppers. Only Same with those because they always come in. They do, and well. it's better to get them loose. And then we've got bananas, not as many as we'd like. We've eaten a few already. Um, we need some more bananas because yes. Alex didn't realise how many we needed because I'm making no. quite a few recipes with them. My bad. And then we've got some chopped tomatoes. Um, we always get chopped tomatoes. They're, if you're vegan, you need them because you can make pasta, curry, everything with them. So versatile. They are. And then some beans. We we had some beans already, beans? so we didn't get that many oh, chickpeas. Beans. Yeah. So yeah, we've got lentils and beans in the cupboard, but again, that is something new that is great. That's not my breath. Garlicky. Because I made uh, hummus. hummus yesterday and I put too much garlic in it. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a loaf of bread. Tesco actually did sell a loose loaf of bread with no packaging, which was mm. great. And we just put that. We just, I'm really pleased about that. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. I was so surprised. We've just stored it in one of these I think bags. People gave me some funny looks like, where's your bag? But... You don't need it. And then this is when all the plastic comes in. But I, I don't know locally where we could get this without no, the plastic. I couldn't, even in that health food shop, we didn't. No. no. So we've got pumpkin seeds, pecan nuts, walnuts and sunflower seeds and this is for my recipe video which you'll see at the end of the week if you are subscribed to my other channel and it's for some breakfast recipes yeah. but look they are really sustainable so when they're done we could fill it with you need some, some of these oh no i thought it was open yeah you can reuse them for something yeah or just go go to a shop that has the loose nuts if we ever find it yeah and then we have some yeah. oh i've got the spinach Spinach, I think salad is something that's really hard to get loose. I don't know mm. where you can get that no. loose. Soya unsweetened, I use this in my tea as a, a milk replacement. I know lots of people struggle with that, but I think soy unsweetened is my favorite. And I've heard that oat, oat milk is good too, but I like soy best. I like oat milk. Yeah. And then we've got tofu. Again, this is another one that is, oh, you've got low battery. <laughs> this is another one. I just one. a new battery in. This, I had this problem yesterday. Oh dear. This is another one that's hard to get uh, package free. And um, they used to sell one called Tofu, was it Tofu? To yeah. Tofu that was less packaging. But that still sell that came anymore. in plastic. But it had, didn't have the hard plastic. Yeah. Because the hard plastic is no, bad. We're talking stopping. a lot about plastic. But I think it's, part, it's, it's a good thing, because that's yeah. kind of what, what we're what I think of when I shop. Year. Yeah, um, so the shop, the health food shop normally sells Tofu with cardboard and then just like thin plastic covering the mm. tofu but they didn't have it so we had to get the cauldron brand but this is good it's not yeah. the best tofu but we have right. got a, a tofu maker now and yeah it will be we need to make some a fun thing in the next like it's the end of january now to maybe next month you could make soy milk yes for, from soybeans yeah and then with the although maker, you just having said that it is good because this soy milk is fortified with vitamins oh, no, and that's that. quite important. but if, if you wanted to make tofu you also have to make soy milk first kind yeah of, so and then we've got some pizza bread. This is great with hummus, and Alex really wanted this because you can put it in the freezer and then whip it out whenever yeah. you want so it doesn't go off. But now I know that this doesn't come in plastic, I might start buying this more. Yeah, you can because freeze that. I actually figured well. out they're pretty much the same price. Like, you can chop you loaves of bread in half and freeze half of it. Oh, yes. And then last but not yeah. least oh. is this <laughs> oat packet. Which I already opened and Alex spilled everywhere. Upside down. Everywhere. She opened it upside down. <laughs> Sorry. This was from Infinity Foods, um, the brand, which is a bright, I think, is it a Brighton brand? It's a shop in Brighton. It is, yeah, right and they sell it at our health food shop and um, just some organic oats and jumbo. jumbo oats. 
And that is everything, I think. Oh, lemon. Got the lemon. <laughs> Alex got one lemon. I didn't know what planet he's living is on. Is the list said lemon? So I, I always I, buy like 10 lemons because I use them all the time. And he got one. I corrected it to lemon. Oh dear. But yeah, that's how much does this all cost? Uh, it was about £28. Mm -hmm. But the price of all these nuts was £8 in itself. Yeah, so it's about and 20 we, quid. What was our weekly budget? I can't remember what we 40 said. £40. £50. So, pounds. No, I thought it was 40 40 pounds. So if you take the nuts off as something we probably wouldn't regularly buy, that's half of what we would yeah. want to spend in a and week. And it's a lot of food, it's a whole table and of food. we've got a lot, like... And I know food. that um, typically when I used to eat meat and dairy, um, quite a huge portion of my food bill was meat because I remember when I was at university and I was trying to be on a budget, I'd eat vegetarian for the week because I'd, well, yeah. I'd, if I'd buy a packet of mints or some <coughs> chicken breasts, they would be like, I don't even know how much they are, like five quid? Well, I remember it was always like three for ten pounds. Yeah. And I'd do a forty pound shop, so a yeah. quarter of the shop was sort of meat. meat. And I'd also and buy cheese. And then you buy cheese, and, and they milk. often have the same offers on cheese, yeah. and it would always add up. And I did find that when I went vegan, my food bill personally went down. I know it's different for everybody, and I know that there are people... And that depends on location as well. Yeah, it depends on the location. I know, know that there is, you know, some issues with like, some people literally don't have access to certain foods, etc. I understand that. But for me personally, and for a lot of people who are, you know, the average everyday person who has, you know, an average earning wage or living, then it is so affordable, I think, anyway. I think if you wanted to buy all this at like Aldi or something, oh, you could so get it cheaper. even cheaper than we got it. And you don't need to go buying all the alternatives. We, but we rarely buy them because they're expensive. We buy yeah. cheese sometimes and meat replacements sometimes, like frozen foods. Did you get any? We, ate, we did get some... Uh, oh, yeah. Linda McCartney pies, but we ate them last night. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the sort of thing we'll buy one of those things a week or every two weeks or something. Yeah. To keep our budget down, and we are on a budget because we're trying to save. So yeah, uh, let us know if you enjoy seeing these videos. Yeah. I know it's a bit different for this channel. It is a bit. I'm, I remember some people. We did one in like November a, or something. It was in a vlog though. It was like yeah, that's what I mean. Vlog style. But, and we also and people were interested in the prices because yeah. it can sort of fluctuate from people in the USA yeah. in I don't know Central Europe wherever. Some people say, oh, how do you get bananas so cheap? That's just, they're quite cheap in the UK. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. So we're going to keep on doing these maybe once a month or something, try and do them and hopefully reduce our plastic over time and really scope out areas mm. nearby that sell stuff that's waste free and plastic free because it's a huge goal of mine this year to really move towards zero waste. I don't ever want to put a label on myself, but I want to move in that direction yeah. and really be more conscious because it's something I, we both really care about. Yeah. So yeah. I think if we, one last point, if we compare this to like a shop we did last year. It was all wrapped know, in plastic. Uh, we get peppers in plastic, mm -hmm. tomatoes in plastic, mushrooms in plastic, mm -hmm. even broccoli comes wrapped in plastic. Some shops don't do it by weight, they just do it by wrapped broccoli, onions come in bags. Yeah, we've really, yeah, it's good. And, and we, we don't have like, a car at the minute because we yeah. our car is parked really far <clears> away, so we're walking to the shop. So when we get our parking permit, we'll hopefully be able to because I know that there is a place in Brighton that has zero waste stuff, so yeah. But we couldn't find it. No. I, I, meant, I, to, I meant to put a link Someone told me <laughs> where it was and I've forgotten. Can, can that person please message me again or comment down below? Where is this place in Brighton? Or the name of it. Or the name of it. I've yeah. totally forgotten it. Anyway, I feel like we've talked for a very long time. My breath stinks. It just tastes like I'm not going to be kissing you today. I don't know why you put so much garlic in it. No, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. We, oh, we never really said about our schedule. We're going to cut back on the amount of videos just because it's a bit much doing five. Just a so little bit. we're going to do maybe like yeah. three ish a week. I sort of tried to mention it yesterday when I was filming yeah. in this video, but I think I was just blabbing and there were so many cars going past that I probably didn't make myself very clear. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to be doing maybe three a week mm. and keeping it casual because I've got, we're doing yeah. a lot at the minute on my channel as well. And yeah. Alex is half of my channel because yeah. he films everything it's like around three so it could be two it could be four it could be yeah. more depends so. what we do in the week really yeah hope you enjoyed and we're not too chatty bye guys <laughs>